It's Monday, September 12th, 2011. I'm Wilson Tang on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. According to the Wall Street Journal, Amazon.com is talking to major publishers to launch a Netflix-like service for books. Early reports suggest that the rumored service will charge a fixed monthly fee for access to a library of books. Amazon, in turn, is offering a nice fee for book publishers who choose to partake in the program. Other book services have similar subscription plans, but none have the name recognition of Amazon.com. Speaking of Netflix, the company has released a new update to its Android app that will finally allow the service to run on virtually any Android phone running Froyo or Gingerbread. Honeycomb users, though, are still locked out. Version 1.4 of the app is now available in the Android market, and according to Google statistics, 82% of Android users will finally be able to watch Netflix. NASA has launched its Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory, or GRAIL, mission to the moon. The GRAIL devices are washing machine-sized probes that can measure the distance between the two in order to measure changes in gravity around the moon to get a better idea of the lunar interior. Sony has announced it will start selling its white PlayStation 3 in time for the holidays in Europe and Australia. Starting November 1st, the white 320GB PS3 will cost £249. The white version of the game console has been on sale in Japan since the end of July. 2010. Most printers these days are multi-function devices. They can fax, scan, print photos, and of course, print your documents. HP is now adding a new feature to the list, the ability to scan 3D objects. The Top Shot LaserJet Pro uses an overhanging arm with a high-resolution digital camera. The 3D scanner will then take six different images to recreate a 3D scan. On top of that, the printer can scan business cards and integrates with Google Docs. No word yet on price or availability. Microsoft is rumored to finally be prepping to release its major update to Windows Phone 7 called Mango this week. Early reports this month set the date for September 15th, and all indications point to the software's release. Head on over to CNET.com for an extensive look at the new software. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Wilson Tang for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.